What is going on everyone? My name is Toon Mike and today we're playing Smashing 4. I hope you guys are having a great day today. Thank you so much for stopping by watching today's video of Smashing 4. You know, I have to say every day, you know, you know I have to. The support that you guys have been giving me is just incredible. I have no words to express how grateful I am to you guys other than saying thank you. Thank you so much for your continued support and by watching my videos, subscribing to the channel, whatever it is. It's all it's, it's a lot of support that you guys are giving me and I have no way to say thank you other than saying thank you. So thank you so much. Keep doing what you're doing because you guys are supporting me no matter what you guys do. So thank you so much. Today we're playing in the Majestic Challenge because this week is going to be all uh, challenge decks because you guys gave me so many recommendations that this week I have to focus on ch uh, challenge decks. And we're going to be using the My Spandic Cultist Blaze and Warlord. You already know how I feel the Blaze and Warlord combo. Like those two are just incredible. The Mice Bandit, you know how I feel about the Mice Bandit. I feel like it's overpowered, needs a nerf. Cultist can be a very good addition. Uh, paired up with the um, Mice, uh, with the Warlord. So this, uh, the person the person recommended me this deck says that he has won 12, uh, the 12 wins multiple times. So fingers crossed that we'll, we'll, we can be able to do the same. Who knows? Let's just hope for the best, shall we? So facing, okay. Okay, I'm a deal. Okay, so he... So we're having an armadillo slash zombie combo. The blaze, you know how I feel the blaze. Ooh, the mice band actually got the buff here, so we can actually hit the, the armadillo twice. Is the armadillo dead? Guys. <laughs> I mean, I understand that the that the mice band was uh, had a buff. But oh my gosh, that that was too much, dude. We just killed the armadillo. So the Mice Bandit has has a buff again, so we'll, let's actually hit the Blaze towards his Blaze, and we'll hit his Mice Bandit. I mean, we'll hit it towards my Mice Bandit, sorry, I cannot speak sometimes. And, ooh, if if we could have got another hit with the Mice Bandit, that would have been great. That would have probably been death, right? Yeah, that would have actually killed off the Blaze. So look at this, guys. Two turns and we're already winning. Like, we are beating this person tremendously. The cultist got a buff, dude. Let's go. The cultist got a buff, so we can deal so much damage here. We might actually just win right here. Yeah, he surrendered. And we did take him out. Guys, we just beat the person three turns. Let's go. We got lucky with the with the warlord, I have to admit. We got lucky. Like, especially in the first turn that the mice spend that just got just got a buff right there. That was clutch. Super clutch. So first win, that was super easy. Let's jump into another one, shall we? Let's see. Let's see. If we can find someone, if I can find an opponent, thank you. And we are face. Okay, assassin, but no treant. Uh. Okay, so he goes first, and he's gonna hit the the mice bandit. That's fine. Only the mice bandit. That's cool. That's cool. So the blaze got enchanted, but uh. Honestly, cannot do much here. So we're just got, actually gonna hit the uh, the pillar so we can get the extra damage, and then we should be able to hit the goblin. Yeah. So we only hit one hit, one hit towards the goblin, but we still did 160 damage just for base damage, plus his ability. So. Oh my gosh, the blades almost died. So the mice panda got a buff. Um, we can we can just do this. We can just hit the pirate twice. Hopefully, it hits a bomber just just for the burn damage. It did, and we almost killed off his pirate. That's crazy. So, our our warlord might die here. Yeah, the uh, the mice bandit and the warlord died. Okay, not what we want to see, ladies and gentlemen. That was rough, 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 rough. So let's. Uh, I didn't mean to do. I did not mean to do that. Did not mean to do that. I wanted to make the cultist go up a little bit better. Did not. Did not mean to make that attack. Oops. So definitely, we are probably not gonna win this one. If we can get lucky with the pillars, plus our abilities, we may be able to make a comeback here. Maybe. So the poison is on the pillared. Uh. Maybe we can hit the cultists, and the cultists can just maybe bounce around and hit walls. That's what I'm trying to go. That's what I'm trying to go for. Uh, 
If the assassin would have died, I would have maybe gotten the chance to win because because now we're just gonna take a lot of damage here. Yep. There's no way we can win this one. I mean, it is the cultist, so you never know. So we just gotta hit the bomber. Make the cultist just bounce along, bounce around walls and just hope for the best, man. Nope, we failed to make it just bounce off more walls, so... Yeah, GG, there's no way we're gonna win this one. Hey, had an amazing first start, but... Sucked in the second match. What can you do, right? What can you do? Hey, it's all good? You can like I say, like I say, you cannot win every single match. No matter no matter how long you've been playing this game, you cannot win every single match. It's it is it it it's that's just the game. That's just the game. It literally depends on the starting hand, the meta deck, the deck that you're using is like it seriously just depends. So the mice bandit got buffed, but unfortunately my cultist goes my go uh, goes first. So we have to focus on his sorceress. Or else we will be in trouble. So let's try to focus on the sorceress. We were able to hit the sorceress three times. Plus, we got the ability down, and also hitting the uh, the sentinels. That was that was pretty cool. So the sorceress. So the sorceress is gonna enchant the blaze, sadly, and the warlord. So let's see. The blaze goes next. Uh, can't do much here other than. Burning the sorceress and the golem and the and the giant too. So, plus we did additional damage to the. Ooh, we did additional damage to the uh, sentinel. Was not expecting that play. As long as okay, that was a lot of damage regardless. And the blaze also died. Oh my gosh! Oh my goshy gosh! We can still come back from this. We can still come back from this. We just need to hit both of these guys. Especially killing up. We missed the sorceress, dude. What? How did we miss the sorceress? It's okay. It's okay. We we can still come back from this. Okay, that was a great play that he just did. Great play. Um. Yeah, we can. Let's hit both of these guys. Like, can we hit both of them? Thank you. Unfortunately, the uh, the ability was not in range of those two. I thought we were gonna be able to win this one. Um, apparently not. We we messed up big time as well. We messed up big time. Oh, look at that. Yep, he won this. He won this. Ouch. She. We are not playing well. We are not playing hot. Don't worry, guys. Don't worry. We can probably win a lot of games in a row. Fingers crossed. We gotta we gotta make this a good video. Come on. We have to. We have to. So let's see. Let's see, let's see. We are facing... Okay. So, you know, the Treant Wraith combo, it's a combo. <laughs> if the Wraith goes through the tree multiple times, it can be lethal damage, so we gotta be careful about that. Uh, the Priest is actually a very interesting card to see. Not too shabby, in my opinion. Um... The mice bandit got buffed, but unfortunately, I can't do much here. Honestly, I can't. So let's just do this. We should be able to hit them multiple times, maybe. Yeah. Oh, the priest almost got burnt. That would have been nice if the priest would have got burnt. So he is gonna go for the blaze. That's fine. He should not. It should not be a lot of damage. Actually, got a double hit. Never mind. That was actually a lot of damage. So the cultist got buffed, which is good, because now we can deal a lot of damage to these two. And hopefully the ability just goes crazy. Yeah, look at that! Oh my goodness. We kill the priest, the treant is almost dead, let's go. He is actually gonna kill the warlord and the mice spend it. No, look at this. This is what I mean about the combo, guys. Oh my gosh, dude. Dude, this is exactly what I mean. Oh my gosh. How unfortunate, bruh. How unfortunate. So let's... This is so bad, man. This is so bad. So let's try to make the, the tree and hit the cultist. Yes, yes, yes. Plus the, the ability for 118 damage. 
might be able to make a comeback, but I was not expecting to literally give him the win right there. To just line up the troops perfectly. Hopefully he only hits the, the blaze once. Actually, he missed the blaze. Okay, so I'm super happy about that. So let's hit... Let's actually hit the wraith twice. We should be able to hit him twice. Plus hit the skeleton. And the ability is there. So he's going to deal for 118 damage to the to the wraith. So fingers crossed we, we might be able to make a comeback here. Fingers crossed. He was only to able... It was only able to hit, you know, the Blaze or the Cultist once. If we can hit the Wraith twice, we will have a chance. There you go. We were able to hit the Wraith twice. Let's go. Uh, let's see. The Skeleton is doing how much damage? If I can touch the Skeleton. 76 damage. So he will need to hit the Cultist twice and the Blaze twice. And he wasn't able to do so. So we barely won. We barely won. We made a... We somehow made a comeback right there. Somehow. That was super close, man. That was super close. But look at that. We, we were able to make a comeback right there. Super happy about that. We need to win a couple of more, man. We need to win a couple of more. We need to make this... Try to get to at least six wins. And so far, we are not doing well. We are not... Doing well to get the six wins, but you never know. It may I may be able to do that, even though we got two losses in the books. Uh, let me search for another opponent, cause we might face a bot. I do not want to face a bot. Can we find an opponent real quick, please? We should be able to find an opponent. Okie doke. Okay, so warlord and huntress. You don't see huntress uh, that often. Blaze goes for uh, Blaze got enchanted. Sorry, but does not go first. Sadly, um, hopefully we can hit the mice spend it twice or something. Yes, almost hitting the warrior. That wasn't great. The huntress got the buff and also got the speed buff. So the huntress is he missed, ladies and gentlemen. He missed the play right there. Wow. Let's actually hit the warrior and we should be able to hit the huntress too and we should be able to just deal a lot of damage right there Woo! look at that combo that was clutch that was clutch yeah thank good oh he surrendered never mind i was about to say the huntress can re-enchant herself but look at that that was he missed the first play he made it he made a fatal misplay on the first in his first play and he just didn't was not having it so he just surrendered the game Hey, that's clutch, man. That's clutch. We we take wins. That's fine. Okay, so this this looks like this where we might lose. Who knows? Who knows? Cause Seder Enchantress is dangerous. Has a warlord, so can, he can buff up anybody that he wants to. And uh, actually, that was not too terrible. If we can take out the assassin first, that would be clutch. Because we don't want the assassin just going around. Just dealing about 200 damage to everybody, so... Ouch! Okay, that was painful, too. Um, unfortunately, I cannot hit the... I cannot hit the, um... The Assassin, at least directly. But we were able to still hit the Assassin by bouncing around. The Assassin is dead, ladies and gentlemen. The Assassin is dead. So, the Enchantress goes next, so he's definitely gonna enchant the Seder. Because why not? It's going to give him an, an attack buff. And it's going to enchant the Warlord as well. Was not able to deal damage though. So the Blaze got the buff, ladies and gentlemen. So now we can cause some problems here. So let's hit the Enchantress. And we should be able to hit... We missed the Seder. Oh my gosh, that pissed me off. But we were able to take out the Enchantress, which is cool, but the Enchantress hit her, uh, did her job, so... Um... This... This... This could be a little bit of troublesome right here. We gotta watch out for these two. Yeah, he just almost took out the Cultist right there. So the Mice Bandit got the buff, but... Obviously not the greatest. Maybe we can hit the Warlord twice? And that's probably what we're gonna do. And we actually hit it towards the, the the 
the cultists and the mice bandit making sure that the warlord is dead. So it's just the satyr, full health satyr against four of my troops. Enchanted satyr, let me tell you that. Enchanted satyr, he just took out my, uh, the warlord super easily like that. Super easy. Um... Okay, we just gotta be careful here. We just gotta be careful. If we can hit the Seder towards our ability, that would be great. Oh, okay, so we hit it towards some ice band, dealing additional damage right there. So, super happy about that. We can make a comeback here. He is definitely gonna take out the mice bandit. Yeah, he definitely took out the mice bandit. He just dealt easy damage to the. Uh, to the blaze. He is doing 147 damage per hit. That's that's a lot, dude. That is a lot. So if we can hit him twice, we might be able to have a chance here. And we should. We should. Yes, look at that. And one more hit! Oh my gosh, we almost got that one extra hit. Oh my gosh. So he will need to hit the blaze twice and the cultist once to win. Please miss the... Oh my gosh. Okay, we won. We won. That was dangerous. That was dangerous. How much health does the cultist have? Literally five. Five health. That was super close, man. That was super close. We were able to win, though. That, that was super clutch. Super clutch. Happy about that win. So we got the four wins, which I'm happy with. You know how I am with four wins. As long as you can get four wins, I'll be okay spending 100 gems. Anything less than that, then I'll be mad that I spent 100 gems for pretty much nothing, you know? But hey, we got to four wins. Super great. Ooh, okay. Okie doke. So the Warlord enchanted the Assassin. He got lucky because his Assassin goes first. So if we can take out his Assassin quickly. The Cultist got the buff, and we can actually use the Cultist here to just hit the Assassin. Hopefully just deal some damage. Uh, no, not the greatest. Not the greatest. Ho okay, so the assassin got the buff again, but he cannot do anything with the assassin because the wraith goes next, and obviously the wraith goes through people and not bounce around anybody. Please do not get an extra hit on the uh, the blaze on the cultist, though. Thank you. Ooh, look at this. The blaze actually got the buff, so this this will be clutch. Let's actually kill off the assassin. Plus, we were able to burn the cultist just going crazy. Oh my gosh, that was a lot of damage. A lot of damage. I'm happy about that. The Yeti goes next, and the Yeti got the buff, so this might be dangerous. He just took out my uh, mice bandit, didn't he? Yep. And the cultist. Never mind. Never mind. We might not win this. So the blaze got the buff, so we can probably just hit the blaze and just go crazy. Yeah, look at that. We took out his Yeti, so super happy about that. I hope that the Wraith gets a buff here. Nope, the Warlord got the buff. Okay, so hopefully he doesn't kill my Warlord. Because we can still... Okay. Okie doke, okie doke, okie doke. So the Warlord is going to get the buff, of course. How much? So I have 314 health. He has 272. So... We might, we might be able to make a comeback here. Okay, yeah, look at that. He will need to hit me three times. That's tough. He will need to hit me three times in order in order to beat me. Or maybe twice in the burn. Actually, I don't think a burn is going to be enough either. So he, hit, he has to hit me three times. Only hits me once. Okay, we won. GG, my man. So, super good. Super good. Mm. Oh, sorry about the notification. I'll get rid of that. So, GG, he surrendered. Yeah, he knows it. So, we are at five wimps. Look at this. Pretty good. Pretty good, if you ask me. Uh, let's get let's get one more win. We'll get six wins. And, you know, we'll be halfway there. Super clutch. You know how I feel about six wins. Um, obviously, better than four, if you can math. <laughs> at least I know I can math. I'm pretty sure you guys can math, too, you know. Um... But yeah, I'm super happy with the, with this deck. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. Um, so okay, this is this deck is actually dangerous. We gotta watch out for this deck. So the warlord got the buff. 
So, and it's the Warlord's turn, so we can actually just hit... So we can hit the Knight, and we should be able to hit the Blaze to go up and just burn multiple people right there. There you go. Uh, unfortunately, the Knight was not uh, close enough to get hit by the Cultist ability, but that's okay. Ooh, okay, 115 damage. That's quite a bit. So the Cultist got the buff. We should be able to kill the Knight right here. We should, at least. Bada bing bada boom. And another hit on the Shaman, and the Shaman should touch the rune, and there you go. So nobody, nobody has less damage. I, I'll just give him a chicken face, I don't know. <laughs> Not the chicken, a Phoenix face. Um, but yeah, we have to take out his, uh, his Seder now. His Seder is the, the most lethal card right now, so we have to take out the Seder. So we'll just do this. Hopefully we can hit him twice. And the burns and the ability! We took out the Seder. GG, the blacksmith alone cannot do anything. Yeah, this guy, this guy, this guy's not having me. He's just saying, wow. I'll just give him a happy night. A lovely night. And GG, my man. There's no way you're gonna win. GG. Super happy about that. That was super easy. Now watch me jinx myself, but hey, we got six wins. I'm super happy about the six wins. Super happy. So we'll definitely take the six wins. We'll jump into another one. Yesterday we got six wins. Hopefully this time we can pass the six wins. Like, we need to, man. We need to. Okay, let's see what deck are we facing. Warlord Blaze, you know how I feel about that. I mean, heck, I'm using it. So the Warlord got the buff. But it is not the Warlord's turn, sadly. So let's make the Cultist bounce around so he can just deal crazy damage with his ability. Uh, we were only to hit. We were only able to hit the Thunder Rider with the ability, which is okay. His Warlord got the buff, and his Warlord goes first, sadly. And now he is probably gonna kill my Mind Spender right here, and the Blaze. The Blaze is actually barely alive. But oh my goodness, he just killed my Mice Bandit first play. So the Cultist goes next. Or got the buff, sorry, but not doesn't go next. Um, This sucks, man, this sucks. So we can hit both of these guys. But yeah, it does not seem like we're gonna win this one. We did do a lot of damage, so... So the Warlord got the buff, but it's not the Warlord's turn, so okay with this. He is gonna deal damage to the cultist, trying to take him out, actually. He missed... Okay, he barely missed... He, actually, he missed the assassin. That was super close, dude. Super close. So the warlord got the buff. I did not want the warlord to get the buff. I wanted the, the cultist, actually, to get the buff. But this is okay, too. Make the cultist just bounce around. And we should be able to take out... Yeah, we took out the Warlord, okay. We took out the Warlord, the Thunder Idol. If the Thunder Idol would have died, I we could have maybe make a comeback here, but we'll see. Yeah, he def oh yeah, he killed off my uh Yeah, he killed off my uh cultist, so yeah, I don't think we're gonna win this one. Maybe. So let's see, wait a second. So I have 115 health. So if we can kill both of these guys, he is required. To hit me twice. Oh! Wow, we actually got an ex a hit on the Assassin too, so... I would need to hit him twice. I actually still need to hit him twice. Hopefully he misses his double hit though. I really hope that he misses his double hit. Because he needs to hit me twice. He got the second hit, okay. Oh man, we were doing so good. I mean... We won... I mean, we won the first two and then just lost the the, the the other two. And but then, hey, we made we made a four winning a four win streak. Not too bad. Six wins again. How many times I got to six wins in Majestic Challenge? Hey, man, what can you do? I'm not the greatest, but hey, I love doing these challenge videos for you guys. Please keep please. Uh, I can't speak. Sorry. Please keep the challenge decks coming. I'll be more than happy to do it. I'll probably gonna actually uh, pre-record the video. Uh, after I post this video so that um, I can post a video tomorrow because tomorrow I'm not going to be able to record. So hopefully I'll be able to pre-record the video after I post it uh, on YouTube. 
so you guys can enjoy the video tomorrow. Uh, not the cards I'm looking for because they're max stacked. Um, Phoenix, okay. Jaguar. Not the cards I'm looking for, but hey, we gotta max them out at some point, right? Uh, well guys, there you go. We got six wins with that deck. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. I pretty, I, I like that deck. I really did. Not too shabby at all. Well guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys like the video, please make sure to, uh, get the, th uh, I cannot speak, sorry. To make sure to leave this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more Smashing 4 videos. Uh, Warlord Blaze is nasty. It really is, but uh, there were some situations where I could have done better and the RNG was not in my favor, but uh, hey, what can you do? It is a game, it happens. What can you do? You cannot win every single game, right? Well, guys, uh, also make sure to leave a, a comment down below what other challenge decks you want me to do. I have, I need to go through all your recommendations for the week. Like, you guys gave me so many challenge decks for the week. I, I have to go through them. And of, of course, I had to play in the ladders just to get, just to get the orb slots uh, filled. But other than that, I hope you guys have, have a great day. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.